It's hard to believe it's been 20 years since panel bonding was introduced to the collision repair industry. Technicians and manufacturers alike have enjoyed the many benefits bonding provides. Insurance companies and consumers have also enjoyed quicker cycle times and improved corrosion protections. Adhesives are a trusted partner in the repair process when used correctly per the OEM manufacturer recommendations. Impact resistant structural adhesives recently entered the collision repair market due to changes in OEM builds and designs. It's important that technicians know the difference between a panel bonding adhesive and a structural adhesive and how to determine which one to choose. Identifying the type and function of an adhesive is one of the main challenges for today's technician. So always check the OEM repair procedure for the information on which one to use. An impact resistant structural adhesive has the ability to resist the instant shock of impact forces and absorb collision energy as the structural parts deform. This adhesive is also called crash toughened. Impact resistant adhesives can withstand a greater stress load and absorb more energy than the adhesives of the past. Structural adhesives are also designed to perform better in extremely high and low temperatures. Their resistance to corrosion makes it a great choice for bonding in structural repairs, especially for mixed material vehicles such as the new Cadillac CT6. It's these characteristics that make structural adhesives much stronger with double the peel strength and more importantly, a lot tougher than panel bonding adhesives. Well, think of it this way. A bodybuilder can lift 500 pounds and tear apart phone books. But if you're going to get into a bar fight, well, who do you want on your team? A bodybuilder? Chuck Norris. I don't know about you, but I'm picking Chuck. So does it really matter which one you use in the repair? Well, it actually really does matter. You are risking liability exposure if the joint you are repairing had impact-resistant adhesive from the factory and a traditional bonding adhesive is used during the repair. Panel bonding adhesives are not designed for use on structural areas of the vehicle because they lack the shear or impact and pill strength to duplicate the performance expected by the OEM engineers. When the OEM selected impact resistant structural adhesive, you can be assured that it is critical to the occupant's safety and the vehicle's ability to perform as designed in a subsequent collision event. But what about welding through this new material? Performing a weld bond procedure is no problem with a high quality resistant spot welder while the adhesive is uncured. Keep in mind that MIG plug welding is not a desirable repair technique due to the heat affected zone and weld contamination issues. Because of this, if recommended by the OEM, many technicians use the rivet bond method over MIG plug welding to enable a continuous adhesive joint for superior strength. This is known as a cold repair or a hybrid joint which has many benefits over welding. As vehicles continue to advance and more mixed material vehicles enter the market, we expect to see the OEM usage of impact adhesives increase. In fact, the Cadillac CT6 has 600 linear feet of impact resistant structural adhesive from the factory. It's important that technicians verify adhesive types by using the OEM procedures and follow those guidelines in the repair. Using the right products in the right place is not only critical to performing an accurate repair, but it could make a significant difference in regards to safety for the vehicle's owner in their next collision. For more information on adhesives and panel replacement, visit collisionhub.com for more episodes of Repair University.